Well, uh, I, I think you can have multiple identities. Look at me. I'm coming from here in this country. I don't know if you know this country very well, but I'm coming from Ash. That's Minet. That's, I'm a Minet stuff, as we say here. Uh, and then, so that's my first identity. I'm very typical for this. And then the second one, I'm a Luxemburger. Hmm? So these two go together. They are not in opposition. And I'm a European. And it's like the Matryoshka, these small puppets you see, or the, the, the Russian puppets. One goes in the other. No problem with this. Uh, for our neighboring countries, uh, we have uh, created since some years now a new policy, which is not a policy of foreign affairs, but a policy of the neighboring uh, affairs, in order to have with our neighboring countries um, a relation which is much more narrow than we have with third countries. Uh, we called it once everything but institutions, mm? uh, to, to, to have a real uh, integration, but not to have it on the political institutions, but for all the rest to have this uh, integration. And I do believe we have to develop uh, that because we do not know until what point Europe can grow. We are going to have the 1st of uh, July uh, the uh, enlargement uh, to Croatia. And then you know there are so many in the waiting room uh, who would like uh, to join. The whole Balkans certainly will uh, join uh, when you are uh, the, the ones who keep things in hand because they will need some time to arrive there. Um, the, the aim is to unite the whole uh, continent and to make it a strong continent, to have a free uh, movement, a, a free trade uh, union with the United States, to bind together the biggest economy in the world, Europe is the biggest economy in the world, with the second biggest economy in the world, the United States. Having those two together, then we do not need to import the mentalities and the values of others, but we might export our mentalities and our values. And I believe that's very important in order to stay what we are. Luxembourgers always say, we want to stay what we are, and we want to stay Europeans with our European values. We wouldn't like to miss those. And that's one of the reasons why I'm fighting so much to have a new treaty, which goes a step further, is that your generation doesn't need to fear to lose your identities, to lose the power to handle your future. If we don't do that, and if the thing falls in pieces again, then the Europeans are going to be nowhere. And that is why our generation, that's why I'm thinking about uh, the United States of Europe, that's why our generation has to put this basis so that your generations can go the step forward you like to Thank go. you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, I forgot one last thing. If you want to know a little bit more about Europe, we have a very interesting discussion the 30th of uh, June in the Rockhall in Esch. So it is, will be quite uh, the same from the ideas, but uh, so, uh, it is all depending on your uh, suggestions. So I hope to see you there again. Thank you.